and welcome to Behind the Unicorns, a series where we're getting to know the faces behind the scenes here at PLT. My name's Nat O'Leary and today we've got a very special guest, Miss Tara Lawton. Woo! Big up Tara. Okay, so Tara, it's so nice to have you here today. Now, before we get into some gossip, I want to talk about PLT in general. So first of all, what is your role here at PLT? So I'm a buyer. Um, being, I've got a team of like nine people underneath me. Wow. And we just work on like bringing the newest trends to the table, work with design and our merch team, like strategically planning like how to make things better and how to get things quicker and things like that and how to get best cost prices and everything. So, yeah. Your job actually sounds really technical, but I guess it's probably changed a lot since you began. How many, like, when did you first begin at PLC? So I started, well, I was a dental nurse first. Were you? Yeah. And then I worked at a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> and then a friend of mine posted on Facebook a job for actually a fit model at Boohoo. And then I just randomly applied for it on my dinner time one time at the dentist. Cause I don't know why, I just thought, mm, I want to change a job. It's just random. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they, I went in for an interview there. They gave me the job as a fit model. And then about 10 months later, got put in touch with Gemma Don because it's through a friend of a friend. And then she rang me like, yo, Tara, do you want to be a buyer? Do you want to call for you? So I was like, yeah, all right then. So then I ended up moving over to PLT, becoming a BA here, which to be fair, at the time, I wasn't really sure around what I wanted to do in fashion. I knew I wanted to be in fashion. And then, yeah, just worked my way up from there over so, the year. Two questions from that. First of all, who is Gemma Dunn and what is a BA? What does what we is not that know that Gemma Dunn then? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure if you're watching this, you know Gemma Dunn, but. So basically, yeah, buyer's admin assistant. So it's like basically the entry level to becoming a buyer. <clears throat> so like raising POs, um, helping out in fits, and there's just like loads of like ad hoc tasks that you need to do day to day helping your buyer out. And then I moved up to assistant buyer. And um, so you get like more of an input on like what, what we're buying and things like that and like putting packs together and like presenting packs and things and like having more presence in meetings and things like that. And then, yeah, work my way up to junior buyer and then eventually a buyer. So, yeah. Wow. It's so you the journey. Yeah. It, I do sometimes think like, oh my God, like I'm a buyer. Because I did. It, that was never my intentions when I started out. And would you change now? <laughs> if you could go back and change it, would no, you? No, never. Like I love what I do. I really, really love it. I so, love yeah. That. And it's so nice to hear, like, so I guess you didn't go to, like, a university. No, so I've never been to uni or college or anything like that. So I was a bit, like, when I first started. And I still now question myself all the time. Like, I think, oh, am I good enough? Like, am I doing the right thing? Or, like, today even, I'm like, for God's sake, what have I done that? But <laughs> I think it's just, like, a learning curve, isn't it? Yeah, you definitely shouldn't question yourself. I think <laughs> it's so refreshing to hear somebody say, that, you know, I didn't go to uni, I didn't go to college and study to be yeah. one, because there's so many people out there now that be questioning, oh, do I have to go to uni? Or like, yeah. you know, because it's not always, there's not a direct route yeah. into anything anymore, is there? You can do it in so many different fashions. Yeah, there is. And I feel like people shouldn't be, like, worried about going applying to jobs and stuff like that when there is room for everyone, do you know? I think as long as you just show, like, that you really want the job and that you're going to be a grafter mm. and, you know, you've got, like, ideas and things, then... You can do it. So would they be your top tips to anybody oh, who wants to apply? Just bringing fresh new ideas and like just being a person that's okay with like learning new and adapting. I think that's like a massive thing here. Just come like being able to adapt all the time and change the way that you're working and stuff like that. Because I mean, things change here so much. It's crazy. So quick. And how do you deal with that pace? Because I think that, I mean, I guess you, you've probably been here for, obviously you've been here for a length of time. Mm. For people that come into this business, I don't think people realise just how fast-paced no, it is. No, it is really fast-paced. I always feel sorry for people. I remember when I started and I was just like, ah, I just thought, I, would, I even remember starting in a little room up there and there was only like six people in there, like from the buying department. And the room was rammed full of samples and everyone was listening to Justin Bieber. And I was like, hey, Justin Bieber. I was like, I'm not going to fit in. We're not no, going to argue about now. Justin Bieber right I'll now. Oh, now. I'll okay, forgiven, now. Forgiven, but forgiven. at the time, they kept playing this song over and over again. And I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to fit in. Like, I don't even like Justin Bieber. And I remember I had like the worst shoes ever on. And everyone looked really nice. And I was just like, oh my God. I remember ringing my boyfriend at the time being like, I don't think this is for me. I'm going to have to leave. And then there was like, and then literally after about an hour and a half, 
I think Louise Grafton, one of the other girls that works there, came in. She burped in my face. And then <laughs> I just thought, oh, actually, I really like it. <laughs> and that's what sealed the deal with the Torah. A burp to the face. Do you know what? I love that. Yeah. But so, you felt more comfortable. No, yeah, everyone makes you feel so comfortable. I think it was just me. I just had a lot of hold-ups, like, worried about stuff. But no, absolutely fine. There's, like, a place for everybody, yeah. And so there was six people you said on the buying team when you started. How many is there? I think there's about six. Oh, my gosh. Roughly. I mean, you take up about six banks. Which say about eight, eight to 100 people on the buying team. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Is there? So, yeah, about 100 people or something. It's crazy. Wow. It is mad because I remember when I was in that room at the top mm -hmm. and there was like us six and this was like the warehouse, like all further down. And then just that, and now what it is. And now it's completely it's separate. Like the warehouse isn't here. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. How has it been to witness that like phenomenal growth? Yeah, it's in, I feel like you feel like really like you've accomplished, even though obviously it's not all mine, but you just feel like you've accomplished something and yeah, you just feel really proud all the time. You've been a part of like such a huge journey. Yeah, still like there's nothing. so much more to yeah, go. Like yeah. it is, I think all of us working <laughs> at PLT do always feel very, like proud. Yeah, you do. You feel like it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tara, and if you could explain, if you could describe, sorry, your um, job in one word, what would that word be? Roller coaster. Like a massive roller coaster. Day in, day out. One minute I'm buzzing, next minute I'm crying, next minute I'm stressed, next minute I'm happy. It's just like crazy, but it's good. Like, I love that. I love the up and down. I love like the change and everything every mm. day. So, yeah. Do you think you kind of like feed off the energy with like everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think it's good because like today, like I've been stressed out and then the other girls are like, come on, Tara, it'll be fine. Like everyone pulls you up, do you yeah. know? I mean, you're always going to have a stressy day in work, aren't you? And it's only once in a blue moon, but... And then you have so many good days and yeah. I just love and it. speaking of the good days, like what does a good day look like to you? What do you love most about your role? I think it's, for me, like learning, like every single day is a challenge. Every single day I'm learning something new. And sometimes I can feel like overwhelmed and think, oh, can I do it? And then you get so proud after because you've smashed it, you know? Just like every day is like, Ali, it's a learning curve. <laughs> it's a learning curve. That's a learning curve. It's like growth, isn't it? Yeah. Like, if you think back, like, sitting here, I guess you don't really have much time to ever sit back and think, oh, my no, God, this is yeah. where I was however many years ago to where yeah, you are now yeah. about you. Like, did and you I think, think when you're trying to explain your job to somebody as well, and then you think, oh, my God, I know that, and I know this, and I know this, and I do this, and it, it is mad. Like, it's crazy. Okay, if somebody was coming in for an interview with you now to yeah. join the buying team, let's say an entry-level role, what key skills... Or what things do you look for? What do they need to have? Um, I think personality is a big thing. Like, if you just seem really confident, like, fun, outgoing, just someone that looks seems like they can take take things on, take challenges on and stuff. And also, like I said before, just coming with new ideas. I think there's that many people and there is a lot of competition out there. Like, to come with something that makes you stand out from everyone else, like, fresh ideas and, yeah. And something you said to me before was that, you were speaking about Umar and what he said something to Gemma. No, he said, I think he said that to Gemma before, like, you don't need, like, it's not the qualifications that matter. It's like, are you the kind of person, we can teach you everything, but have you got that personality, that confidence, that, like, drive and things? Yeah. See, the reason I wanted to pull that out is because, like I said before, there's so many people that sit and worry and panic, like, maybe I've not yeah. got this, what, you know, maybe I don't have this, yeah. but... And I'd hate for somebody to sit and think, I can't go you and can't apply for a job at PLT. Yeah, 100%, you can. Exactly. Like, yeah, definitely. And that's coming from the CEO. Like, if the CEO's saying that. Exactly. Fantastic. <laughs> why, why am I here? <laughs> Tara is now the new CEO. <laughs> Um, okay, what's been your proudest work achievement to date? So, you, I'm sure you've had lots of amazing moments, but what's oh, been your proudest? Um, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, getting to bio is like, I am really proud of where I'm at at the minute. And obviously I still want to like climb up the tree, be a director soon. But I think becoming buyer is definitely like probably my proudest moment because I just never thought I would be here and what, what I'm doing and stuff. Like I am oh. proud of myself and my dad's proud of me too. So. That's so amazing. Did you think, do you think you realised that when you did step into PLT, when Gemma, you know, gave you that phone call, yeah. do you think you realised that this is what no, you No, I didn't, from? I don't think I, I realised this is like how far I'd be going. And I don't think I realised the opportunity either, like what, the, like the opportunity here mm. is so big and like you can really get where you want to get to if you put the work in and the effort in. So 
Yeah. Oh, I think that's so inspirational for anybody like that wants to come and, and get involved yeah, in definitely. PLT. You know, it yeah. can be done. Yeah. I love that. Okay. And okay, you're a buyer. Yeah. You get to like pick so many amazing clothes. Yeah. And pick what goes on site. Have you ever spotted a celebrity in one of your pieces? Well, yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, this is all dead normal. Time. This happens all the time. Like, Name your favourite celebrities. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. I mean, we've seen loads of people in our stuff. My damn it. But what about what something you personally picked? Oh. So, like, what, 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 we, what category do you work on? Dresses and jumpsuits. Right, dresses I and mean, jumpsuits. I mean, so last week, Sophia Richter was in one of our dresses. Mm, I mean, did you know he was in one of our dresses last night? Mrs. Hinch. <laughs> We saw that on social as well. Yes. One of the girls actually sent she in our WhatsApp group. Mrs. Hinch is finally wearing Britney Spears. There you go. The, the list is endless. The list is endless. Yeah. What's been your favourite collab to date oh. with all the celebrities kind of faces off we've had? I really liked the Hayley Baldwin one just because it was all like glitz and glam and stuff. That was fun. I liked the Maya Jammer one because I was really, really involved with that and I, I touched her. <laughs> and then, Maya, if you're listening, if you're watching, I touched you. Please come back in. <laughs> Um, I don't know, there's been loads like the Ashante one, I love that. Jennifer Lopez, it's yeah. awesome that the list goes on. Yeah, but if you had to, if you were, had the power seat, you were there, you were Umma, and yeah. you got to choose who the next face is, who's it going to be, and why? Um, I want to say Kendall Jenner. But only because I feel like everyone loves Kylie and Kim. And yeah, I do love them and they are very PLT, but I just prefer Kendall. Because she's like versatile, she's sexy, she's tomboyish, you know. Mm -hmm. You can do anything with her, so yeah, she's been my favourite. And she's tall and I'm tall, so I get a lot of inspiration. I was about to say, like, you're both, you're both tall and yeah. I think you do obviously like aspire to someone that has got a similar body yeah, shape. Yeah. So, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Okay, so Kendall Jenner, hopefully that's going to happen one day. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and we're going to go down memory lane. I want to know okay. to finish this um, interview, what has been your favourite memory of PLT so far? I'm sure you've got so many. I know, I've got, can I, have to, can I say loads instead of just Tell one? me everything, Tara, I've got all day. <laughs> well, where do I start? <laughs> I remember dressing up as Jessie for Uma's birthday from um, Toy Story. Like, I mean, the full blown outfit. I remember for his birthday, that. doesn't it? Um, I think I've been jumping around on Uma's desk dancing. I think, I don't know, like, Oh, there's just so many. Like, there's so many with my team and stuff. And, like, I've made so many amazing friends here. Like, they're literally like my family. We go out, we go out for tea every single night and stuff. So there's just a million members. I can't even think of them all. But Jessie. But Jessie, yeah. Standout. That was the one, yeah. That's even got an Instagram post, that. So, yeah. <laughs> well, Tara, this has been so much fun. I think this has been the wildest interview so far. <laughs> and we're in the wild room. We, we, you are the wild thing. Yeah. I'm obsessed with Thank you very much. I'm sure your journey is going to be just as exciting as it has been. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Thank it's you. been amazing. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. This has been Behind the Unicorns with Tara Lawton. Woo! <laughs>